Have you ever been looking around your design in SketchUp and then just have the uncomfortable feeling that someone was watching you? Hey, welcome back to the tutorial. This time we're going to do a couple of fix-it jobs. We're going to show you how do we zoom in and zoom out. Notice I'm not going up to the magnifying glass each time to zoom in and zoom out. I'm using two fingers across my trackpad. If you have a scrolling mouse, you could use that as well. And let's talk about the oopses and accidents we have. Occasionally, we do things that are really hard to explain and, and don't make any sense for our design. Like, I don't want a pentagon-shaped window or ledge that sticks out of my house. So there's always the edit and undo, which is command Z. Command Z. Now, one more thought about the windows. They're really tough to put in sometimes. So what I found is an important tip is that you'll have way more control if you zoom in. So before you do your push-pull, zoom way into the window, and then you'll be able to slide it in, watching the offset distance until you get it just right, and there you fill the window. Now, a few of you are asking, how did I get the triangle and the pentagon shapes? Well, I went to the polygon tool up here, and I switched to polygon, of course. And after I drew something large enough, I press Option Plus and Option Minus to change the number of sides. Those hints are right down here at the bottom of the screen. Okay, one other helpful tip. When you're making a building, it sometimes helps to let people see your entire design. Alright, so I want this wall to be transparent and so I can see through this like a giant aquarium. I'm going to first take up my paint bucket over here and while we could make it, you know, a green wall and things like that, we want it to be not so opaque. So I'll choose my color, let's say like I'll stick with the aquarium idea, I'll stick with aqua, I'll change that to a 50% opacity and then I'll click on that. But now you're saying, I can't see all the way through the building. Well, remember, this wall is two layers thick. It is an inner layer and outer layer. So I switch around to the inside, and I apply the paint bucket again to the inside layer. And orbit back. And now I have a transparent wall that I can see the rest of the design through here. If that works for me, I know I'm going to use it again. I drag that over to my palette of favorite colors. And I can pull those out any time if I decide I want to make this a kind of a purple transparent wall. Then I have that. It's just a standard kind of smoky colored transparent wall. I have 